Now with the headline that airfares could be on the rise, the Associated Press reports that the International Air Transport Association predicts prices could go up due to factors including inflation, jet fuel costs, and a backlog of new plane orders. We're the points guy, Brian <laughs> Kelly. Brian, thanks for coming in this thanks morning. For having me. What do you make of this AP report? So there's good news and bad news today. The good news is actually in the U.S., our airfare has come down 9%, and we're looking at pre-pandemic levels. So that crazy surge pricing that we were seeing has come down. The bad news is the airlines are still making record profits and they're mm. doing that because they're sneaky. They're finding ways to charge more for what we already pay for. So most of the major airlines are now charging more for check bags. JetBlue even has dynamic pricing for your check bag based on the peakness of your flight. And I highly recommend to consumers, if you fly the same airline and you check bags, even once a year, getting that airline co-branded card can save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So do not pay the hundreds and hundreds hmm. in bag fees when a, sim a simple credit card that's 95 bucks can save you money for you and all your companions. As hmm. always, that's a great tip. Yeah. This is what you're known for. So give us some tips about saving when it comes to airfare. Yeah, so everything with airfare is flexibility. And so you want to book in advance, but we, we have the Goldilocks method. The airlines take advantage of the nervous Nellies, the people that want to book six or nine months in advance. So booking way, way out is... Are you, not, are you a nervous Nelly, no. <laughs> Robin? <laughs> um, so, but then they also take advantage of last minute uh, bookers. So there's a sweet spot. And I want everyone who wants to find a cheap air, you need to learn how to use Google Flights. So it's a free tool. And Google Flights just now started uh, carrying Southwest Airlines. That was a major airline that wasn't on the mm -hmm. platform. But now you can comparison shop. Instead of going to any one airline website, you want to look at all your options in front of you. And Google Flights will let you even set alerts. So if there's a certain route you fly a lot, you can say, hey, let me know when that's under 200 bucks. Like we're seeing this summer to Charleston, we're seeing $150 from New York airfare. Google Flights will also let you reverse engineer. So you could say, I live in New York and I want to go to Europe for one week in July. Show me all the places I can go in Europe and I'll actually show you a map of all the cheapest fares. Wow. And my biggest what? tip is choose the destination you've never been to that has the cheapest fares so you can actually spend your money on fun things while you're at your destination. Oh, and we're in the middle of a summer travel rush. What, what about people like me? Last, what kind of last minute travel deals can I get? And what should we be thinking about for the rest of the year? Well, it's a good, good question you ask because I'm actually going to London in a couple weeks to see Taylor Swift, the Eras Tourism. I'm, I'm one of those traveling Swifties because the prices are a tenth of the price of the U.S. So a full trip to Europe is cheaper than buying a single ticket to the tour wow. in the United States. So I'm going to be going to London. So last minute, there, there are tons of deals, and I'm the points guy, so I'd be remiss in saying, you can actually use your frequent flyer miles. At the last minute, the airlines open up tons of space because they want to fill every last seat. There are a bunch of different tools out there. Just like Google Flights will show you for paid flights, there's a website, point.me, and that's kind of like Google Flights for award tickets. So if you've got Amex points or Chase points, it'll actually tell you, here's how to transfer those points. And the foreign frequent flyer programs are where the best deals are. Air France has yeah. like 50,000 miles business class to Europe. I'm thinking of seeing her, Taylor Swift, in August in London. When should I book? Seriously. I mean, you should probably book now. I mean, for, for paid... <laughs> for, Come on, for, nervous man. Let's get to it. No, get but, to it now. No, but to, for, for international airfare, you're looking two to three months minimum. When you start booking last minute international, okay. that's when they skyrocket. All right. Thanks for the tip.